Colleagues across the country today are showing support for the Transgender Day of Visibility. It's designed to celebrate trans and non-binary people and to raise awareness about the discrimination they face. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on transgender reproductive medicine. It's That's right, day. Jessica. You know, an increasing number of transgender men and women are becoming parents and growing families. Doctors say transgender people having biological children is a routine part of medicine. I was assigned as female at birth. Tristan Reese is a transgender man who gave birth to a baby five years ago. I was born with a uterus. I was born with eggs. My partner has the other parts that you need to make a baby. We need to bust out of a lot of preconceived notions. Dr. Jackie Gutman is an endocrinologist at Reproductive Medicine Associates in Philadelphia and King of Prussia, where they help transgender people have families. Everybody has a right to have their family of choice. It's part of the message being shared on this Transgender Day of Visibility. On Twitter, President Biden says, we want you to know that we see you just as you are, made in the image of God and deserving of dignity, respect, and support. We want a world where people can be their best selves, can show up, can be great parents, can be in happy families. There's a lot of data to show that transgender pregnancy or parenthood, it's not dangerous, it's not experimental. With a growing tide of anti-trans legislation, protests are happening across the country, people standing up against trans Phobia. You can't bully or shame someone out of being trans. I was born into a body that just didn't happen to line up with who I am. Tristan hopes this day of visibility will help educate people and provide connections and services to trans individuals who need help. It's really vital to connecting people to resources, to support. We know that it is literally life saving, and so that's why Transgender Day of Visibility exists. And research shows transgender people increasingly have become the targets of violence and have higher rates of depression and suicide. We have links to a variety of resources and hotlines for you. All you have to do is go to our website, cbsphiladelphia.com. All about education. It is. Yeah. It certainly is. Stephanie, thank mm -hmm. you.